New and exciting to the August release of Posture A is finally flexion extension lumbar instability analysis based on the end plate method, aka the AMA guides. So you'll see in the drop down menu we have lumbar flexion extension. Now at this time we're basing the instability purely on the end plate analysis, not the posterior tangent body analysis like we do in cervicals. We have three different methods in cervicals. In the lumbar flexion extension, we have two methods, uh, excuse me, for both flexion extension, we have the AMA guides end plate analysis, which is just like this. We can go ahead and pull this up and show the areas of concern. So you can see here, if we pull this up, this person has instability findings right here that exceed the threshold of normal, okay? What's nice is that now when we generate the report, we're gonna go ahead and I'll generate the actual report. The patient's report will show basically George's line turning red for patient education, which is just like the cervicals. However, if we go into the instability report, Notice that we're going to go scroll through. So we have the cervical analysis, which you already know and love. Okay. We're going to go into the next is going to be lumbar. Okay. So we're going to go in past the cervicals. Here we are, the lumbar flexion extension instability analysis. And of course, we also put that into table format as well as, and notice here, of course, it has the table of values, as well as text, okay? Nothing can be as simple or as easy as annotating your x-rays and building your practice with Posture A. For more information, please visit postureanalysis.com or email us at info at Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.